So today, I'm going to show you where I bought my GDMU from, where why I bought it from AliExpress, and I'm going to give you the tools that you need to get your um, GDMU working and have the games on it as well. So, I bought mine for AliExpress. It took around two weeks. It was um, $79.25, and with Texas, it was $84. But at the last minute, they told me they needed to charge me an additional $5 um, for shipping. So, that was $89.02. So, it comes in two colors white and black. It comes with the whole kit. So that's why I got this. Um, and you will also need uh, any kind of micro SD card. The larger, the better. Um, and if you are not going to have um, like one of these power supplies, and you're going to use the stop one, get some of these. You're going to need three of these. One um resistors one kilo ohm resistors okay so that's out the way um you will need this software to fat 32 um anything over 32 gigabytes so you would just click this and download it and this is the um menu for your um, GDMU, so when you start your game, it go to that link and just download from right here. So since I already downloaded, I'm just um, delete it, and you also download the GDMU SD. And your games are right here, so you got all these games to choose from. So. I'm gonna have all these links in the um, description below. So, what would you need to do first? It open this, your FAT32 format. You choose the right um, drive and format it. So, I put mine as Streamcast, so it's FAT32 already. And you just put in, then you press start. Then open your GDM menu. So you already you only need this one. So drag out. And you can open up your GDMU um, SD. So I already got my games on here. So you just grab this and you just slide it in here. And when you download your games, it come in the zip file. Something like this. So you can click it twice, or you can use room. You can use um 7-zip or brand wall. So you can right-click it. Uh, show more options. Extract. So you can do that. Then map and yours should say um, extract archives to subfolder. So I'll click this, then it makes its own folder. So it come out with something like this. Have all the files on there. Then when you have the files like this, you just grab it and just drop it in here. Just like that. Then you'll press start. Since I already did it. I want to do it again because it take a little process. Then when you got all your games on there, you press save, and this is going to start putting it all on to your um, micro SD card. If you want, if you don't want to do it that way, um, you can also just open up the, fo the folder where your um, micro SD card is at. Number one, one, two, three, four, five. So you have to do zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, then go all the way to you. You're done. So the first one is gonna be it's your um, it's this file. 
So I'm not for sure why it happened like this. So I'm gonna cut it. And paste it right here. Delete that folder. So in the other games, it's gonna look something like this. You have your this dot GDI. So these are big, bigger than CDI um, files, but you have all your music, your cutscenes, and everything else. It's like a rep of the this. So now we just going to eject the worker SD card and put it in our system. Okay, so your menu will look like this. So you can press X for options. Region free for VGA. So if you got VGA, if you try to hook it up to your monitor, that works. Um, ooh, intro, if you don't want like the Sega um, intro, intro, you'll need it. You can press um. No, but I'm gonna leave it on. Then just say about system. Then you can just pick something.